Hello everyone. So I know a lot of my viewers subscribe to this channel because of my two large projects, the DIY security system and the smart thermostat. But what happened to these projects? Where are they now? Well, to be honest, I owe you an explanation. And it's also time, I guess, to reveal some future plans. Okay, so what's the common problem of those projects? Well, technically they both look good. I mean, grand project with a lot of interesting ideas and, and whatnot. Also, long-term plans and some complicated, challenging implementation, including server-side software, firmware, and of course, electronics. And here's the catch. By trade, I'm a software developer, not an electrical engineer. So, you can spot this easily by checking out those ugly protoboards with the weird wiring and whatnot. And yeah, this is exactly what causes me to lose motivation. So, when I take a look on my own, let's say, design, I say, okay, this crappy, no one will like it. Also, it's fragile. And those weird wires, they tend to break loose. And then I waste a lot of time trying to find out what went wrong and oh there's a wire it, it broke loose and now it's uh, connected to something it should be connected to and it's shorting and it's killing my node MCU and whatnot so I decided that enough is enough it's time to make a jump to the next level and start some disordering but then I have another problem and to see that, we need to go back to the origin of this whole channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to experience the unknown, to see the unbelievable, to join me on a time travel. Oh, what on earth is this? Yeah, this is my study from two years ago. Weird, yeah, a study, right? I mean, man cave or something like that. Gaming room, maybe. Yeah, former World of Warcraft addict here. Yeah, I admit it. Anyway, point is, this place wasn't really suited for electronics. I mean, look around, no place, not a workbench. Yeah, there's something weird, metal thingy. Yeah, yeah, that was holding my self-made softbox, kind of my first hack. And yeah, it wasn't best, but it was enough to start and do those lame review videos for Banggood and whatnot. Yeah, it's funny, but hey, I was starting the channel. Okay, point is, this is where it started, and at the time I was just fine opening up a Sonoff and, and messing around with my Amazon Echo and stuff like that. Then I brought some Node MCUs in and started Arduino and stuff like that and the place was still fine. But uh, let's jump back to current time. And guess what, only marginally better. But at least it's more crowded. I mean, I brought in the 3D printer, a lot more electronics parts. Now I have those containers all around with the tiny parts, let's say the mandatory stuff. And um, yeah, a larger part of my desk is dedicated for electronics, but it's still not good. I mean, uh, for SMD, I need a lot more space. I want to have a reflow oven, want to have a rework station, and uh, for debugging circuits, I went to have an oscilloscope and whatnot, and just look around, no, not much space for it. So what's the solution? Well, let's scrap this whole thing, and let me show you my plans for my dream workspace. Okay, so once again, what on earth is this? Well, I needed something super compact with a lot of shelves and with uh, a place to store my tools because um, one of the main problems is that whatever I do at the end of the day I always need to make my desk clean 
because I can expect children coming in, picking up stuff from the desk when I don't look and yeah, disaster can happen. So what you see here is like a combination of a shelf and a desk. It's something like a lab workbench or something like that with a lot of shelves high enough to be unreachable for the children and also here a large drawer for all the tools I need I mean all those sharp dangerous things I need to hide and yeah this is the main idea and um, this needs to hold my uh, PC my display my whole toolkit for electronics everything I need so this shelves has have to be strong enough and um, yeah so luckily for me last year I learned how to weld and uh, with the welder I done some pretty complicated things I built a canal for my dogs and stuff like that so the next logical step is to have all this from metal with strong shelves and uh, only with the surface of the desk and the shelves, uh, shelves are being made from wood the rest metal so and yeah the place should not be I mean this should not uh, occupy more space than what is occupied by my desk right now because I still need the space for the 3d printer next to it and stuff like that also I need to free up space on this uh, big bookshelf so these shelves will pretty much help me with that also these extra parts at the top I haven't really figured out the role they can be used to attach the whole thing to a wall so I cannot accidentally uh, topple this whole thing or, or actually this can be used for camera mounts like having a camera um, above the desk or some lighting or the microphone anyway uh, it's still in progress I'm still working with the idea and uh, I would be happy to receive some feedback from you guys so if you have a comment or an idea uh, for this um, workstation or workbench I'm planning to make then I'm happy to hear it so feel free to use the comments or uh, tweet me on Twitter or something like that social media links are always in the description so what happens now well this is already in progress I mean I started buying the necessary parts even though the design is not fully finished I have um, some time left to uh, experiment with it but um, the whole thing is nearly ready for production and I will just well not sure if I will make a video about it because my other workshop where I do the other nested things is really not in the shape to be used uh, for a YouTube video but who knows anyway in a couple of weeks I should be done with this and from that point well interesting things can start to say the least I mean I already ordered a few things for SMD soldering and have some ideas and yeah I really really want to get back to those projects and um, start working on the smart thermostat again and this time no silly wires no silly wires at all anyway I think I've talked a lot about this plan already and um, yeah I just hope you are as happy with it as I am because yeah I'm happy with the idea and I'm really excited and I really hope that it will make uh, me more motivated and more successful on producing more quality content for the channel and to work on more projects in the future. So thanks for watching this video guys and see you next time. Bye! Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.